back everybody. Um, I think I lost you all for a little while. Um, so what we are doing is just to recap, we are doing fish and chips, uh, Indian style fish and chips. And up till now what I've got is I've got the fish that I've marinated in. We made a paste of onion, ginger, garlic, green chili, coriander leaves and an egg and some lemon juice and salt. And then we put that marinade in the fish. Um, and then all I've done is I'm just taking, so I've taken some breadcrumbs on another plate um, and we are crumbing the fish. Um, so this is not a batter fried fish and chips, it's crumbed fish and chips, which is more common in India. In India we rarely do batter fried fish and chips. Um, so um, I quite like this because it's nice and chunky. And again, you can see what I'm doing is when I'm putting the fish, I'm almost putting a little bit of the marinade along with the fish, all the green stuff, which is the coriander, the onion, because that will just add some more flavor uh, and we don't lose that. And again, I've got a dry hand and a wet hand and we do that. So this is the last one I'm going to crumb and I will carry on crumbing the others later. But for us, for the purposes of today, hopefully that's what you're doing as well and you can carry on doing the rest. And again, if you're doing a lot more, you can just crumb them and keep them and put them in the fridge and have them tomorrow and fry them tomorrow or you can even freeze them and take them out and then fry them then you just fancy some nice and this is really lovely with the drink you don't always have to have it for dinner this is really nice um, served with drinks um, often in india when you go to somebody's house in the evening and it's that in between time between dinner and tea uh, you will get fish fry and that's served with a mustard sauce called kashundi um, and you then get um, some sliced onions marinated in vinegar and it's really really nice so here you can see that's my four fish done i'm going to move this out for a minute i'm just going to wash my hands so give me one second and there you have the fish already so the fish has been marinated crumbed and all ready to go. So I'm going to keep this aside till we are ready to start frying it. But in the meantime, we'll get our potatoes and we'll get our peas done. And once that's done, we'll start frying the fish. So I'm going to switch the, um, switch the uh, cameras. There might be a slight pause, but hopefully I'll come back. Yeah, and then we are back here, back to our hob. So you can see I've got two hobs here and they're both ready to go. So in one I'm going to be frying the fish so I'm going to keep that aside for now. But for the other we're going to do potatoes in one and we're going to do our mushy peas in the other. start one move the other so you can see what's happening okay so let's start the uh, let's start the uh, potatoes in that so this is just like making chips you can make them in the oven as well but all we are doing is we are spicing it up a little bit um, so I'm going to put a little bit of ghee that I've got here you can even use butter um, And what you could do is you could cook it continue I'll continue to cook it in the pan because I'm doing it here but if you didn't want to do it um, in the pan you can put it in an air fryer and oven and these are quite healthy comparatively because we're not deep frying them so I've got my ghee which is being heated and I quite like ghee because it gives it a lovely nutty flavor and then while the ghee is heated just to give it a little bit of kick I've got our Bombay potato mix, which is from our, uh, which is from our um, spice kit. You don't have to use Bombay potato mix, but um, you could also put any. You could put cumin seeds, whole cumin seeds, or whole coriander seeds. Uh, but I'm obviously putting Bombay potatoes because it's already got the spicing for me. So this is a teeny tiny teaspoon. So I'm putting one spoon of that, and you'll see it will start spluttering. And the mixed spices we've got in this is we've got fennel, we've got nigella, uh, cumin, a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of curry powder. So it's got all the spices in it. So you don't really need to put anything else. But if you're doing it yourself, just make sure that you add whatever whole spices you want. And once that starts 
crackling. I have here my potatoes. Now this is going to be done on quite high heat because what you would like to do is you like to make sure that it starts, um, it's brown because you need it crispy like chips. So as I said, you can either mix this up in this and put it on a tray and put it in the oven. Uh, but if you didn't want to do that, uh, what you could do is just do it in the pan. And I'm going to do it in the pan just to show you how easy it is. So here's my potato, all cut into wedges and parboiled. You can see this is now crackling. So get the oil hot because you don't want to put in, um, because the potatoes are parboiled, they don't want to, you just want them to crisp up and absorb all these flavors. So you can see the oil is crackling, or the spices are crackling, and I'm just going to put this potato in there. And then on high heat, I'm going to just let it, so you can see it's getting all these, all the lovely flavors are coming. A little bit of salt needs to go into that. I'm going to put a little bit of our chili masala that we get from our um, MK spice box, my magic chili masala. And again, very little. Just a little of color. Okay. And then what you do with that is just let it fry gradually because and on high heat. So I'm going to move it to this hob. Or actually I'll move it to the hob at the back. And that can just happily carry on cooking. Because all you need to do is to get it nicely brown and crispy on the other side. So that can now be shifted here and that can just go on cooking. And in the meantime, on this hob, I'll start our mushy peas. Again, hob on. Just give the pan a slight oil and make sure there's no water in it. And again, this is very quick. It doesn't take very long at all. You can put some oil. Uh, and this again needs very, very little oil. I've just got a little remnant of ghee in here that I'm just going to put in here. And a little bit of oil. Okay, this is going in there. And this. ginger in there. So I'm, I've got some finely sliced ginger which goes in there and some chopped onions. Not the whole lot. I put about a teaspoon in there. Okay, so that's done. Teeny bit of salt and a bit of our MK meat masala which I've got. Can make masala literally one teaspoon. You don't want to over spice it, you just want to slice it without over spicing it. And then on high heat, fry that. And this won't, and then on high heat, these are your peas. So I've got about two cups of peas, which is golden. And just bring it around. There's a lump in there, but it doesn't matter. They come together. And I'm, I said mushy tea. So what I'm going to do is on high heat, you just fry that. And so I'm going to just fry my potatoes with a slowly turning brown or crispy. You can see this is slowly, slowly turning crispy. So you just leave that stick in there. And this smells lovely because the ginger gives it this lovely, lovely warmth. And then what I'll do is, because we want mushy peas, the flavors are all in there. See a bit of salt. And I'm going to put some water in there now. Just about half a cup. Because we just need it to boil. So about half a cup of water. And I'll just put it on high heat. And we let it boil. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this to the other hob and just let this happily boil here. And I'll put a lid in because we do want mushy peas. So we do want a little bit of water left. So it becomes like a pea soup but then we'll make sure that it's really soft and then we'll mush it up. And you can see the potatoes slowly cooking and you can see how lovely they're beginning to look. I'll bring it closer. So it's all sort of crispy with lovely flavors in it. And again, with this, you can have the fish by itself. You can serve the peas separately with some chapatis if you want. And the chips you can just have any time. You just have spiced chips. So let this put, and this now is going to boil. And I'm going to cover the half. And finally, we're going to start frying the fish. So the fish is again easy. Oil in there, and I'm shallow frying it. So you can see the oil is here. We just have to wait for the oil to heat. And while the oil is heating, I'll show the fish to you again. So there's the fish. You can see how beautiful it looks. Nicely all crumbed up and ready. Um, and to do that, all we did was we took five white fish. We made a marinade with onion, ginger, garlic, green chili, salt, and egg, uh, and coriander leaves, which is, gives that green flavor. Um, and then with that, soak the fish in there. And when we made the crumb, we made sure that it was slightly marinated um, as, you know, we took a little bit of the marinade, so the flavors will always stay with that. I don't know if the light's enough, but here you can see this is what it looks like. So this is now frying. And while that's happening, I'm going to move a little bit of this away. nice and hot. Fish doesn't take very long to eat. Um, in the meantime, our chips are done. So you can see our chips are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it on a very low heat. Um, I'm not going to drain it out and put it on oil because if you do that, or not tissue paper, because if you do that, I just put it on one side. Um, because what if you do that, what happens is all that flavor we've got in that completely gets absorbed by the oil because the oil is flavored. So don't do that. Just leave it as it is. It will slowly, we'll take it out and we'll put it on the plate at some point. As you can see, here's your chips. Starts looking absolutely beautiful. Peas are come to a boil. So we let the peas now boil. And our fish is coming to heat up. So you can see I'm doing all these three things together and we're serving it together. You can make a salad and serve it with that, but you don't have to do it all at one go. You can have your chips on a separate day, um, serve it with a spiced mayonnaise. Uh, and these chips are great the next day. You can turn them into Bombay sandwich. Um, and the peas here are boiling. So let these peas boil for our mushy peas. Oil's coming up. I'm going to test if the oil is hot enough. And the way you do that is you almost take a small bit of the crumb and you put it in. And if it starts, it's not quite hot enough, but it's getting there. You can see. But you mustn't, do, you know, you must. So the secret to making perfect fish fry, the crumb fish fry, is your oil needs to be hot. Otherwise, you'll end up with, it's all hot now. Uh, I'm going to, and uh, but it mustn't be too hot to brown the outside and not make the fish crispy. But if the oil is not hot enough, what will happen is you'll end up with very juicy fish fry. So this is now done. So I'm going to put the four pieces of fish very gently in there, making sure not to break it. Gently, gently cooking. The oil. Make sure your oil doesn't get too hot. And when one side gets done, you do the other side. But I'm just putting, using a salt, salted spoon. And my fishes are, fish pieces are quite thick, so I'm going, to put them, I'm going to reduce the heat now to medium. And just gently let them cook. If, I'm, if the oil was too cold, you'll find that it will become very, very greasy. And if it's too hot, it'll brown too quickly. So you need to give it about three, four minutes on each, three minutes actually on each side because it's going to go through the crumb and cook the fish. Yeah, and 
what I'm doing is I'm just putting some hot oil on it so the top is also getting cooked a little bit. While that's happening, our chips are done. Yeah, and I put them on one side. You can see how lovely and beautiful and golden they look. And they're all cooked. So I'm going to just let this now. This is sitting on a very, very, it's on a warm pan, but I've left it on a low heat. And I'm going to remove the water, oh, sorry, remove the top for the peas and see. But you now need the water to evaporate. Now have, they have ginger in them, they have some onion in them, they have a little bit of meat masala um, and you can see they're here. The water is nearly evaporated. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste a little bit of the, um, of the soup just to see what it tastes like and if it needs salt or anything. Because don't forget these are there. So I'm just taking a little bit of this and it's fine. It's got some spicing, it's got a little bit of kick. I've got onion, ginger, yeah, so that's our piece, um, just let it cook a little bit more and then we we'll just whiz it up because we want mushy peas, so I'm just going to whiz it up a little bit. In the meantime, this one side should be done, so very, very, very gently, and we'll turn it across and you can see how lovely it looks. So you see, I've not overdone it. I've done it slowly. It's turned out golden and it's lovely and crisp. So it's about controlling the heat. And you can see if I hit it, you know, you can hear it. But it's quite solid. And it's, this crumb is crisped up beautifully. So it's got this lovely crispy coating. And if the oil is not enough, you're not going to get that. And if the oil is too hot, you're going to burn it without cooking the fish. So you can see... The fish is now just being beautifully crisp. Yeah, you can see. Um, and while that's happening, I'm going to now take out the stuff for the mushy peas and I'm going to mush it up because they're going mushy peas, we want real mushy peas. So here they are, and I'm going to put that into my magic thermomix bowl, which I will do in a minute. So hold off. What I'm going to attempt to do, whether you can see it or not, but I'll put it in. I'm going to attempt to put this all in this, but don't have it out spilling. Let me just find the spoon. There's all the peas in there. It's cooked. It's got all the flavors and all the spicing we put into it. And I'm just going to give it a mix in the blender. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So you see what the fish is. I'm going to move the fish out on a plate and then I'll start plating. So I'm going to move the camera to the other side and we are going to see what it looks like. So, welcome back. Um, how easy was that? I'm going to bring everything and you're going to see what it all looks like once we've plated it. Nice clean plate here. So plate goes in. 
um, I need a bowl for my peas and maybe let's take a bowl for my peas and my chips. So, I'll get the fish across first. And so you can see, here's the fish. It's all been beautifully fried. I'm going to put them back and then let's take out First, I hope you can see the fish. I'll just get another plate so that I can put this in the unit closer so you can see. You can see the fat fossils. That's the fish for the fish. You can see it's beautifully, I'll show you the inside in a minute. It looks like parcels, it's quite fat and plump and that's fine. Um, let's get some peas out. That's my thing for peas. Let's take out the peas. And this is the peas. You can see how beautiful it looks. It's lovely, lovely green color. Yeah? And I'm going to put the peas in here. So that's your fish, that's your peas, and let's get the chips out for you to see. I'm going to use the same thing that I used for the chips. Well, I'm going to bring the chips out of the bowl because otherwise I'll end up with chips in here. your chips. So you can see the chips. I don't know if you can see them. They're all lovely and And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the chili powder, just a teeny bit. Put that on the chips. Give it a little bit of cake. If you've got some sea salt, this is the time to put some more, but I don't think I've got any sea salt here, so I'm just going to use ordinary salt or any flavored salt that's also quite nice just a bit there and there um, we should have a slice of lemon here and that goes and there you have it indian style fish chips and mushy peas i'm going to break the chips uh, the, uh, the show, break a bit of the fish to show you what the inside looks like so that you have an idea of how lovely it is so i don't know if you can see it or not let me there you can see the fish is beautifully moist inside cooked and you can also see the green lining the green bit which is where the spicing is so if i bite into it mm. i don't know if you can hear me crunch but it's got all the spicing in it these are the the peas are the chips you can see they're all beautifully spiced. It's got a hint of very hot. All these lovely spices, they're bursting in my mouth. So I can get fennel and cumin and coriander and all of that. And then you've got the peas here, which is again flavored up beautifully. So really, really easy. You can do Friday night fish and chips, or you can do Thursday night fish and chips using this recipe. Um, I'll very quickly recap for those of us who've um, who lost the connection um, and I'll find my sheet. So it's literally a 10 minute affair. What we did is we marinated the fish. Here's my list. So you should also have this which is downloadable from the IGTV link. I made a paste with onion, ginger, garlic. I added some green chilies to give it a little bit of a kick. A few coriander leaves, salt and egg and use that mixture to put it in the fish and marinated the fish. We didn't marinate it for very long but you can do it overnight and you can leave it. The next thing we took is we took the fish, we took our breadcrumbs, we rolled it in the breadcrumbs and we got it ready and we got it ready to fry. At this stage, you can put it in the fridge or the freezer and have it the next day or three days later. It doesn't make a difference. In the freezer, it will stay for very long. 
Um, and then uh, for the potatoes, we had cubed the potato, or we not cubed, we turned the potatoes into wedges. Um, and then I had parboiled it. And you can use any leftover potatoes. That's a great way of doing that. Heated some oil, added a little bit of our Bombay potato, uh, Bombay potato mix, a little bit of chili powder, and just tossed the potatoes in there. They were crispy and brown. Now you can do this in the oven. You can do it in the air fryer. Um, you can do it in the pan. I did it in the pan to show you because I could show you, uh, you know, how, how easy it was. And then the final thing, the peas, we took peas, heated onion, uh, heated oil, ginger and onions, fried that, put the peas in, ordinary canned peas, just uh, not canned, sorry, frozen peas, put that in, little bit of our meat masala to give it salt, um, and then put it in, um, brought some water, brought it to a boil, and then just whirled it in the Nutribullet, uh, like that. So we got um, mushy fish, uh, you know, we got the mushy peas. And that's it. And again, as I said, this is a great supper to have, but you don't have to do it all together. You can have the chips for dinner, serve it with a spiced mayonnaise. It goes absolutely fabulously. Uh, the fish, you can serve it. You can cut them into longer strips and you can serve them with drinks, canapes. Um, really, really good. Goes well with a glass of something. And then you've got the peas. And again, the peas are slightly spiced, so you can have it with chapatis and things like that. So I hope you've enjoyed yes, that. Question. Um, yes, question. Could you do it with butter using the same method? Um, the thing with batter is what you've got to be careful about is if you're then taking it and dipping it into batter, you've got to just make sure that all that lovely marinade of the spicing hasn't gone. So what I would recommend is put the, um, put the whatever you're putting, the flour, into the fish and make sure that you've made a batter with the marinade so you've not made any extra water and then lift that up and fry it and there's no problem. We do Indian uh, you know, spice fish fry like that. So that's another way of doing it. So uh, don't put it in crumb, throw some self-raising flour into it or um, tempura flour into it without making a mixture and then just add that and then you can batter fry that. So no problem because you haven't lost that fabulous marinade that um, you've made. Um, any other questions? Okay, I've probably stunned everybody into silence. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to be back next Thursday. Um, I know we've got three res three more recipes done for the next three weeks, but um, I'm having a senior moment and I can't remember what they are, but they will be up on the website tomorrow. Uh, and you can download it, have all the recipes, or have it ready. This goes on IGTV so you can watch it. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed that. So um, celebrating, hopefully the next time when we are there, the first phase of lockdown will be over, so we'll be a bit freer. But till then, cheers. Have a fabulous evening and a lovely weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.